I'm tired of always having to deal with the political mudslinging when it comes to public shootings. But that's, you know, question of the day. Comment below. I genuinely want to hear from you. Do you think that we should do the class act, just mourn those who lost as we usually would have throughout human history? Or are we beyond the point of, can we no longer afford that? Has the left forced us to fight fire with fire? Do we have to go tit for tat? That's a question I struggle with. Because a lot of times people go, well, you're doing the same thing. Well, yeah, I am, but that's because they're, they're, they're politicizing the gun control issue before the bodies are even cold. Force your hand every time. Jared, you know what? Set a time. We've already done rebuttals with, with Vox because they had the biggest anti-gun yep. video for a while yep. with the Young Turks. We've done videos out there on the Second Amendment, whether it's meant just for muskets. They did the same thing with freedom of speech. We've done the gun show loophole. We've done so many videos. We've done so many shows where we've dealt with the, the Australian gun buyback, the Canadian gun laws that I grew up with. So, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna revisit. I'll, I'll, let's recap it, and then we'll be done with it. Because I know you're dealing with this on every single other show, and we can move on to why Elon Musk sucks or something else. Because I'm tired of the same conversation over and over. Set your timer. Let's go. Uh, assault weapons are not an actual thing. Mass shootings are on the decline. The United States does not actually have the most mass shootings in the world. All pistols are some form of semi-automatic, and AR-15 is actually not a military weapon. States with the United States stricter gun control laws have not statistically reduced crime. Gun control measures at large have actually proven to be not. Not effective in reducing violent crime. The United States, by the way, does not have the highest violent crime rate in the industrialized world. Most of the statistical gun deaths that you actually read about include suicides. That's something I didn't tell you. Gun, by the way, guns save millions more lives than they ever take, according to the FBI. Anywhere from 200,000 to 3 million plus. By the way, none of this matters because the Second Amendment ensures your right to self-preservation, period, including firearms, period. And yes, that extends beyond muskets to high-capacity guns that were around back then, like the Belton Flintlock, the Buckle Gun, the Peckham Fox Revolver. And by the way, you're an for exploiting this senseless tragedy to try and forcibly strip us of our human rights regardless. Okay, on with the show. Does that about cover it? I think that's about You it. pieces of human sh**. If I could stand up and clap right now. Less than a minute. Yeah. That's pretty good. You can skip the entire scene in Don Lemon. And we've covered right. all of that. <laughs> we've covered every Watch single this. base that you're Where's gonna your make? reference, Mr. Internet oh, Skeptic? Do some research, guys. Then Go f*** yourself. <laughs> I'm so tired of the gun. The, 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 what bothers yeah. me is the, is the grandstanding, the political grandstanding, yeah. the virtue signaling as though they have the moral high ground when their very position is evil. And I mean that. Is it, no, it's evil to disarm law-abiding citizens. What, people often say, like, what gives you the right? What? Who in the hell do you think you are? Because someone did something bad, you think that you now have the right to strip me of my God-given right to self-defense? That's the problem with people, countries like Europe. Sorry, Sven Computer. That's the problem with countries that don't recognize your rights coming from somewhere else other than the government. Sorry, you get the, you get the angry, skeptic, atheist mad at me. Guess what? The Constitution recognized that rights were bestowed to us. They were bestowed upon us by God, not by government. But these people don't believe that. They think they gave you the rights. That's why they think they can take it away. They think they can tell you you can't defend yourself because something did something mean on a school uh, property. And you know what? It's terrible. And it sucks. And I wish we could just say it's terrible and it sucks. And I wish we could just say, God, what an awful tragedy. Can't we mourn as a nation? And the left talks about coming together and finding common ground. How about you find common ground, shut your mouth, and let the bodies be buried before you push bull legislation that you know won't do anything and you don't even abide by by yourself. All right. Hey, if you like this clip, you're like most of the internet. You have a short attention span, but it was taken from the full show. You can see it in the box playing next to me. Uh, that's once a week on Thursdays, full one and a half hour show, or you can join the Mug Club uh, for the daily show. We have to take some of that off YouTube because they're monitoring us and censoring our words.